ok guys in this video i am gonna show you how to configure verify and troubleshooting a cisco switch cisco uses the concept of command line interface or cli with it is router and catalyst LAN switch products basic configuration of switch with cli what is cli the cli is a text based interface in which the user enters a text command sends the command to the switch which tells the device or the switch to do something the switch does what the command says and in some cases the switch replies with some messages stating the result of the command Cisco Catalyst switches also support other methods to both monitor and configure a switch for example, a switch can provide a web interface so that a user can open a web browser to connect to a web server running in the switch. Switches also can be controlled and operated using network management software. Like any other piece of computer hardware, Cisco switches need some kind of operating system software. Cisco calls this OS the Internet Work Operating System or IOS. In this video, I will show you how to use the Cisco CLI to monitor and control the switch. The Cisco IOS CLI allows the user to use terminal emulation program which accepts text entry by the user. The switch CLI can be accessed through three popular methods. The console, as you see, Telnet, and Secure Shell or SSH. Two of these methods, Telnet and SSH, use the IP network in which the switch resides to reach the switch. The console is a physical port built, built specifically to allow access to the CLI. As you see in this diagram, console access requires both a physical connection between a PC and the CVH's console port, as well as some software on the PC. You should install some software like PuTTY and TerraTerm. Talnit and SSH are network protocols use it to access and manage remote systems and acquire software on the user's device. And we will talk about Telnet and SSH in the future by detail. The physical console connection, both old and new, uses three main components. As you see in this figure, this is the rollover cable that works with the console and serial ports. See, physical console port on the switch and physical serial port on the PC. However, the physical cabling details have changed slowly over time, mainly because of advances and changes with serial interfaces on PC hardware. Most PCs today use a familiar standard USB cable for the console connection. Cisco has been including USB ports as console ports in newer routers and switches as well. In the simplest form, you can use any USB port on the PC with a USB cable connected to the USB console port on the switch or router. After the PC is physically connected to the console port, a terminal emulator software package must be installed and configured on the PC. The terminal emulator software treats all data as text. It accepts the text typed by the user and sends it over the console connection to the switch. Similarly, any bits coming into the PC over the console connection 
or display it as text for the user to read. The emulator must be configured to the PC's serial port to match the settings on the switch's console port settings. I think Cisco switches are the best in the market. It is reliable, flexible, and powerful device. Now I am in the packet tracer and I wanna do the basic configuration of a Cisco switch. It is work like physical switch and the comments I entering completely the same. Okay. Double click on the PC and choose the terminal option. I don't like graphical user interface or web management at all so I will show you command line configuration which is much more powerful and actually forces the administrators to learn what they are doing on the device after loading the switch click enter now you access in the switch and you are in the user mode this is the user mode and this is the first level of access in the switch in this mode you cannot configure the device the access mode or the access is so limited just for troubleshooting using some some comments for example type here show clock comment and then enter see the time and also type show and press shift and question mark see after show you can use this comments now type enable and hit enter you will get into privileged exact mode I also call it, it enable mode in this mode also you are so limited for iOS configuration the supported commands can vary depending on the version of software in use to display a comprehensive list of comments enter a question mark see here are many comments that you can start with this to return to user exact mode, enter the disable in the privilege exact command or go to the global configuration mode, type configure terminal and enter. Now this is the global configuration mode. To set up a host name for the switch, type this comment. In the global config mode, type host name, for example, SW1, and then enter. See the name is changed. It's so easy. And then configure an administration password or enable secret password. In the config mode or global configuration mode, type enable secret the password is for example cisco and then enter the password will be used to enter into privileged exact mode for example see you must enter the password and now this is need an authentication after you type the password correctly you can access or get to the privileged mode now for configure a password for telnet and console access type the follow command it is a very good security practice to lock down all access lines of a switch with a password for telnet and ssh line in the global configuration mode type here line vty 0 up to 15 and then enter now you are in the line mode see here and then type here password for example cisco123 
and then enter and then type here login and then enter and then exit for example if you want to see your configuration in the privilege exact mode type here show run in config see the current configuration in vty line and for the console access type here in the global configuration mode line console 0 enter and then password for example cisco 1234 and then enter and then type here login and then enter and then exact exit yeah it's done it's so easy and now you have uh, you must know the password to access the console port or vty line next step define which ip address are allowed to access the switch via telnet first you should create an access list in the configuration mode type here ip access list standard for example abc name of your access list and then enter type here permit the ip address you wanna permit for example 192.168.1.100 also the second ip address is permit 192.168.1.101 enter and then exit and now you should apply the access list to the telnet vty lines type here in config mode line vty 0 up to 15 access class abc the name of your access list in enter exit okay it's done now assign ip address to the switch for management management ip is assigned to vlan1 by default in the global configuration mode type interface vlan1 and then enter c you are now in the interface mode and then type here ip address type the ip address for example 192.168.1.10 and then default gateway 255.255.255.0 or slash 24 enter exit it's done now assign default gateway to the switch go to end global configuration mode type here ip default gateway for example an ip address like 192.168.1.20.254 and then enter it's okay next create vlan and assign interfaces to the proper vlan in the global configuration mode type vlan for example 4 enter name it enter it's done and then exit for example create another vlan in global configuration mode vlan for example 5 enter name finance enter exit now assign the physical ports to each vlan for example ports 1 up to 2 are assigned to vlan 4 and ports 3 up to 4 to vlan 5 in the global configuration mode type interface range faster than it 0 slash 1 up to 2 and then enter now you are in the in the interface ring mode and then type here switch port mode access 
switch port access will or exit next interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 3 apt 4 enter switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 5 now save the configuration in the privileged exact mode type WR and then enter or run in config to start up config is also save your comments and then enter and now watch the next of the video to how to troubleshoot your switch